Now here is a very simple but nevertheless extremely important idea. It's the concept of an inverse vector, sometimes called a negative vector. If we're given a vector, its inverse is a vector that is the same length but points in exactly the opposite direction. We usually use a negative sign to indicate this and that's why it's called a negative vector by some people. A few examples will show you exactly what I mean. Here we have a vector a. Its inverse is therefore the vector minus a, which I can draw anyway, you remember, as long as it's the same length as a and it is parallel to it. But because it's the inverse, it must point in the opposite direction. Similarly, the opposite of the vector 3a is minus 3a, and the inverse of a half a is minus a half a. A moment's thought will tell you that this situation is symmetrical, by which I mean that a is the inverse of minus a, 3a is the inverse of minus 3a, and a half a is the inverse of minus a half a. But what if we are referring to the vectors by the points on a diagram? Well, let's go back to our old friend the hexagon. The inverse of vector AB is vector BA. Notice we change the order of the letters, not the direction of the arrow above the letters. So the inverse of vector FA is vector AF, and the inverse of vector CB is obviously vector BC. Now, having said that, we sometimes keep the letters in the same order and put a negative sign in front, just as we do when we use lowercase letters. So we could refer to the inverse of vector AB as minus AB, if we wish. It just depends on the situation, and you will soon see when to reverse the letters and when to use a negative sign. The idea of inverse vectors, and especially the concept of putting a minus sign in front of them, will come in very handy when we come to subtract vectors a little later. So please make sure that you've understood this idea fully now.